Hey guys, welcome and thank you for tuning in. My name is Kristen Fry and today we're at Whitby Oshawa Honda located at 300 Dixon Road South here in the heart of Whitby, Ontario. We're going to take a few moments to go over this gorgeous 2014 Honda Civic EX sedan in an alabaster silver metallic. Come along with me and let's learn a little bit more about this beautiful vehicle that's available for sale. As you can see, we got some aluminum alloy rims, sunroof, there are some additional features like a backup camera and heated seats. We'll get to those in a bit. This vehicle is powered by a very economical yet responsive 1.8 liter four cylinder engine. It'll give you about 140 horsepower, but will not cost you at the tanks. As you can see, this vehicle again has aluminum alloy rims. They are 16 inch, riding on of course an all season tire. They're in great shape. These tires are pretty much right out of the box. What a gorgeous looking vehicle. One thing I love about the Civics, whether you park at home in the driveway or on the street, foldable mirrors, super cool. Let's go on inside and take a look at what features wait for us there. Helping us hop into this gorgeous sedan is the Smart Entry Proximity Key Fob. Check out our YouTube video to learn more about this feature and how it works in its entirety. But for today's presentation, feel free to take advantage of the buttons on the fob or like I do, tuck it away in your pocket as with the Smart Key Entry, you don't even need the key to enter your car. As soon as you put the hand on the handle, the vehicle will unlock, open up the door and we can begin. As we can see, this gorgeous EX comes with full power amenities, so power windows, doors, locks, and mirrors. Speaking of the mirror, it is a super wide uh, expanded driver view mirror, giving you that additional view of your blind spot, which everybody needs. And coming over to the interior, we have a gorgeous light gray upgraded fabric interior. I love the upgraded fabric because it's super easy to keep clean guys and if you have any pets whether it's a dog or cat it actually mitigates the fur trapping into the fabric super super awesome coming down to our manual adjustments for the seat we do have a few other adjustments I want to go over with you guys together so we have our gas and our trunk release one thing I love about this uh, this feature is that it is a dual function lever so if we push down it releases our gas and when we pull up folks it releases our trunk using a valet you can go ahead and lock the trunk so if they try and open to see what's inside, they won't be able to. While we're down here, we have another latch. This one here is of course for our hood. That's where you get to fill up all the fun stuff and check your oil manually. We do have some storage for cellular phones or anything else that you want to shove in there and of course tilt and telescopic steering. This is an automatic which is why we don't see our clutch. Coming up over beside the steering wheel, we have our eco mode which this puts the view vehicle in a fuel saving format. And of course our vehicle stability assist, you'll see the acronym VSA. And what the vehicle stability assist does for you guys is it will actually correct over or under steering. Super convenient if you're driving uh, winter or even maybe on after uh, rain slick, it's gonna help you out in any of those conditions. Let's hop on in, start the baby up. So being the EX again, it is push to start. So we'll just go ahead and push that button on. We do have a two tier deck. So as we can see, we have uh, our speedometer right there that's helping us out. We'll just turn the wheel to straighten out. So I've put the vehicle in eco mode. That's what that green leaf signifies on the dash. If I simply come back over and take eco mode off, come back up to the dash, the green leaf has now disappeared. Super cool. Okay guys, so let's review the steering wheel controls together. I love that the Honda has placed them in such a smart way. It's very ergonomically designed. When you put your hand over the steering wheel, whether left or right, the controls are right at literally your fingertips. That's how they should be. So starting with our left side, we have our upper instrument panel display. These buttons, they're actually gonna control not only our media, what we're listening to, but that upper screen as well. So when I hit this top button, it's gonna to toggle me through the screens. Oh, let me know I left my trunk open, thank you for that. And I'll leave it on a vehicle information. Now coming back down, below that we have our Bluetooth where we answer, hang up or go back, and make our voice commands. And over to our right hand side, that's where we find our cruise control. If you've used cruise control, it's super simple. When we turn on the cruise button, it populates up there. And once we're at the set speed that we wanna be at, we simply just hit the set button. I'm gonna cancel that for now since we're in park. 
One amazing feature that I think every vehicle should have, blind spot display. So as you can see, this is our indicator level lever that allows us to signal. So when we put it on to make a right hand turn, look what happens. We can see what's happening in our blind spot display. That's phenomenal. Now, what if I'm driving around downtown and I'm not necessarily signaling, but I want to see what's happening because maybe there's a cyclist or a mother with a stroller. We can just simply tap this button here, guys, and it turns on the screen as well. I love the guidelines as well. Super, super easy to read. And if we hit it again, now it turns off. Love that feature. Again, every car should have one. So coming over to our console, again, we've gone over the upper screen. We have this lower screen down here. This is touchscreen capability. So when we touch it, of course, it's gonna tell me that we don't have a phone connected. We'll say no. Then of course, if we go home, this will bring us back to our home menu, just like your computer. We go into audio, this, oh, let's turn her on shows us what our audio is going to look like. So guys, even though this is touchscreen, uh, it's super easy to use. The Tune, the Seek, they work just like any other vehicle that you would have ever driven before. If you want to push and save a preset, you just push and hold the preset. Again, just like you would have with any other vehicle before. Volume, you can either touch it or go like that slide it down. If you want to hit mute, you can touch the mute button. I love, love, love how easy it is to use. Coming down to our climate control, again, super simple as well. You may recognize some of these icons from other Honda generations, um, but just trying to cover it up so you can see it a little bit easier there. Here we go. So right here we have our temperature toggle. So this will of course control our temperature. Over towards the right we have our fan speed. Now it is pretty hot so I'm not going to leave it at 25 guys. Let's turn it down as low as we can. Air conditioning, turn that on. If we want to change the mode we can of course hit that. Uh, mirrors and the rear window are going to be turned on simultaneously. So if you ever need to heat your driver or passenger mirror, we just simply turn this button on. And again, if we want to control the way the airflow, we can choose to flow it from interior, bring it in from the outside. Down from that, we have our heated seats, driver and passenger, of course, and our hidden storage. I love this in case you have a phone, wallet, any type of cards that you guys want to carry along with you, you can simply just store it in there. And then we have our HDMI, USB, and power outlet. I love the HDMI capability. If you have a tablet, you can pair video. Of course, you can only do so while in the park mode. Come down to our lovely cup holders and of course our console with our second uh, USB port there. So again, this is for driver or passenger depending on how you wanna set up the vehicle. But it, whoever's using it, one thing I love is we do have the pinch points. So those wonderfully um, manufactured Apple cords will never unwire on you again. Coming up top, we have our lighting options and of course our moonroof. So we'll just go ahead and open that. One touch, we'll open the moonroof. There's our gorgeous Honda logo. And again, let's uh, one touch it closed. And I'll just drag this privacy screen across. Super easy. Coming over to passenger side, again, the gray upgraded fabric. And we have a huge glove compartment complete with our wheel locks, guys. And again, another pocket for storage. Well, come on with me. Let's go check out the back seat. Okay, guys, we're going to go in the back seat. With this Civic EX sedan, we do get 60-40 rear fold-down seats. <laughs> Try saying that three times fast. Uh, we'll get to those in just a moment. But the upgraded gray interior fabric continues right into the back along with the cute little pockets for the kitties. So if you do have any pets, children, just plop them in here, not a worry. We have the latching system for the car seat, so super convenient. We have a middle fold down seat armrest complete with cup holders. Again, super convenient, whether it's adults or kids that you're carrying. A pocket in the back seat for homework, a crayon, books to read, or maybe even a tablet you keep back here for the kids to keep them entertained. One thing I love about the Civic is there is no rear access to the trunk. So should heaven forbid someone smash a window to gain access to your trunk, your company computer, or all those holiday gifts, they are safe and sound. This vehicle has been kept in immaculate condition. I cannot wait for you to come out and see it for yourself. So we're just going to pop around to the trunk and take a peek at the 6040 uh, seat fold down. 
Okay guys, we're gonna go around to the rear view to check out the rear view camera and the 60-40 split. So that's where the rear view camera is. If you ever need to clean it off, just wipe it off, no regard there. It is a scratch resistant lens, so you don't have to spend any time polishing that cute little lens there. Pop open the trunk and here we go. Look at all of that space. You can fit a hockey bags, golf bags, bodies, uh, who knows what else. But let's fill down the 60-40 seats. Come around back to the interior. Pull these guys down. I'm even going to reach across. So see the convenience? You don't even have to go all the way around. You can just reach it by leaning on the inside. And let's go back. Yep, a couple of bags for sure. Awesome. Well, we're going to close this down, guys. Come around to the rest of the Civic. Again, we'll up so you can see and we'll come over to the passenger side so again you can see the amazing condition that this previous owner kept the vehicle in hello awesome well thanks again guys it's been a pleasure it's always fun teaching you a little bit about our pre-owned inventory if you do have any questions give us a shout 905-666-1772. Just ask to speak with a pre-owned sales representative or drop in at our dealership. Again, 300 Thixon Road South here in the heart of Whitby, Ontario. Thanks and have a happy Honda day.